I'm Kim here from Nine Mile River United Church and Riverview United Church in East Hans, Nova Scotia. Coming to you live from my home in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia um, with our morning reflection. Every day at 10 a.m. I've been joining you. Oh, good. This is the great thing about these live videos. Um, every morning I've been uh, coming to you around 10 a.m. for a morning reflection on scripture or a spiritual reading or something like that to help us um, set our minds and our hearts on something that matters to us for the day. So uh, that's where we're at this morning and uh, the evening reflection that I've been sharing, I've been trying to share it between 9.45 and 10 p.m. Um, and last night, for my own self, I found that too late as I struggled with some chronic fatigue and uh, pain issues. Um, all, all fixed up now, thanks to the weather has shifted a little bit. So, um, so I, I found that late, so I pre-recorded and it wasn't as well attended. So I asked on Facebook this morning about what time people were thinking. And so we're going to move the time of the evening reflection or meditation, the evening meditation, to around 7.30, 8 p.m. each night. Keep in mind that if you prefer the later time, they'll still be there. Uh, you can um, see the uploaded ones once they've finished being Facebook Live. They get saved onto the, the Facebook page, and so feel free to sign into them then. So, on to this morning's reflection. I grabbed a book this morning. The first book I grabbed in my pile this morning is called Praying in the Silence of the Heart. Praying in Silence of Heart. And it is by Brother Roger of Taze. The Taze community is a, an intentional living community in France uh, where folks can uh, visit, mainly young people visit every year. And I'm just going to read you a little bit about what Taze is. On a hill in southern France, this is coming from another book called Worship Feast. Uh, it was a gift for, to me from the Reverend Shelley Pick from her collection. 20 complete services in the spirit of Taze, and it has a beautiful CD with it. I still don't have um, a license for anything other than what's in the public domain, so we won't be using Taze music today, but you can find it on YouTube, and it's spelled T-A-I-Z-E. And this is what Taze is. On a hill in southern France, you'll find a community of brothers that has opened its doors to the world as an act of hospitality. Young people from around the world flock to Taze to be near the brothers, to pray, to be silent, to be simple, to be faithful. But what is more, what is what it is about this place that draws the youth of the world? Surely are there are plenty of more interesting vacation spots. And it goes in, it goes on to uh, tell us more about that. Um, so I chose to have a look at the very first worship service they recommended. It's called loving with your life. I'm going to begin with the prayer from the other book that kind of inspired today because they both they were both about love. So will you pray with me? The prayers of Taze are very simple and very uh, short and lovely. So let's pray this one together. Breath of the love of God, Holy Spirit, at times we are quite taken aback to discover how close you are to us. Teach one you say, surrender yourself very simply in God. Your little faith is enough. So let that be our prayer as we go into a little bit of time of scripture and learning and reflection. Uh, and I'm going to close with a song today as well. So um, in the worship, the scripture reading that was recommended in this wonderful book, Today is from 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 8. And many of you may have heard this at weddings or had it read at your very own wedding. So I'm going to read it from one version of the Bible. I'm not sure which version they're using at Taze. Maybe the New Revised Standard Version, perhaps um, the NIV. But regardless, here's the reading for today. And I'll read it again after the reflection. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. 
Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So in the time when we finish today, I'm going to invite you after, after I sing this morning and after I say goodbye to spend some time in silence following this reflection. And what I'd like you to start to think about in the silence that follows are some of the things that I'm going to share with you now. So this again is from this book, The Reflection, and it's under the section in the first worship service under something to think about in silence. And it says, when was the last time you really loved someone? I don't mean when was the last time you were in love, but when have you really and truly shown love to another person? What does your life tell others about God's love? What we learn from Paul in 1 Corinthians is that love is not cheap or easy, and that there is no substitute for God's love on earth. We can have very worldly indulgence or the most poetic, beautiful tongue, or a sense of prophecy, but when these things are void of God, they are nothing. Even our bodies are nothing if they are not temples for God. For some of us, the reason we don't let our lives tell others about God's love is that we haven't truly experienced God's love deep in our hearts. Surely we know all the verses about love and we know that God so loved the world, but we don't really know what that love means for our lives. Think about it. When was the last time that you really knew deep in your heart that you are loved by God? The answer to this question may not be easy, but it directly affects our showing love to others. If our lives say that we are completely caught up in God's love, then we will stand up for what is right and be a voice for those who cannot speak. If our lives say that we know God's love, then we will be compassionate and merciful. These are the ways that we show love to others by being patient, kind, humble, respectful, selfless, and honest. If we do not live God's love, then we are nothing but noise in the world like the static on a TV. And this scripture passage isn't just for weddings and married people. All of us are called to love one another in this way, whether married or not. I'm going to read that scripture to you again, but... Before I do, I want to um, also share what also inspired this. There was a picture of uh, empty streets that I saw on Facebook yesterday. Someone had said, when you look out and see empty streets, don't think about the, the fear and the worry so much as seeing that as a sign of love. When we are practicing social distancing right now, it can seem lonely and it can seem fearful but it's an act of love. It's an act of us saying to one another, I care more about you than I do about myself and my needs to be out in nature and in a park or my need to uh, be going to a restaurant or things like that. I care more about the health of the whole community, so I'm going to stay home. So that's an act of showing God's love in this time. Another way is to be brave and call someone that maybe you haven't talked to in a while, to send them a note, to let them know that you're thinking about them, and to care for one another. So many ways to show God's love right now. In the comment section, after you finish your time of silence, after this reflection, I'm going to invite you to share in the comment section of this video the ways that you may have shown God's love at this time, or the way that you're seeing God's love be shown in the world. Let's share all kinds of those examples with one another so that we can feel inspired to share our own love of God, the love that's deep within our hearts. So the reading um, from 1 Corinthians 13, that reading, the first reading was from somewhere else. I'm going to read the version from the message, which I always love to read side by side with a reading from a more traditional source. So this is from the Message Interpretation of the Bible by uh, Peterson, and it's called The Way of Love. If I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy but don't love, 
I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's love and God's word with power, revealing all God's mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Beautiful, hey? Okay, so the, the song I'm going to sing today is Love Divine. It's a song that's in the public forum. It's by Charles Wesley. It's a favorite of mine, but my, uh, my ex-husband Ian would say, they're all your favorites. I would used to nudge him in church and say, oh, this is my favorite. He'd say, they're all your favorites. He's not wrong. I like a lot of hymns, especially some of the old ones, surprisingly. So if you know it, sing it with me. Uh, it is found in Voices United, but it's in the public forum for us to share together this morning. Love divine, all love's excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercies crown. Jesus, thou art all compassion pure, unbounded love thou art. Visit us with thy salvation, enter every trembling heart. Breathe, O Spirit, breathe, O breathe thy loving Spirit into every troubled breast. Let us all in thee inherit. Let us find that second rest. Take away our bent to sinning. Alpha and Omega be. End of faith as its beginning. Set our hearts at liberty. Come, Almighty, to deliver. Let us all thy life receive. Suddenly return and never, never more thy temples leave. Thee we would be always blessing, serve thee as thy hosts above. Pray and praise thee without ceasing, glory in thy perfect love. Finish then thy new creation, pure and spotless let us be. Let us see thy great salvation perfectly restored in thee. Change from glory into glory, 
Till in heaven we take our place, till we cast our crowns before thee, lost in wonder, love, and praise. So friends, take a few moments in silence when this video ends. Think about where you're seeing God's love in the world. Think about where you're offering God's love out into the world. And may each and every one of you this morning feel the love of God deep within your hearts. Know that in this time and in this day, you are indeed loved by God. God who is always waiting to receive you. God who knows you, knows everything about you, loves you just the way you are. I love you, friends, and we'll see you tonight for our evening reflection at 8. Good night. Oh, I mean, goodbye, <laughs> not good night. It's day. Good day.